guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am back with a relatively large build. This is actually supposed to be a renovated barn. So I was thinking, you know, it was originally a barn <laughs> and then we turned it into a house and I'm building this in the world of Brindleton Bay. I actually built this a couple of weeks ago over on Twitch. It was an idea that I thought sounded like a lot of fun. And at the time, everyone was speculating that we might be getting farming in The Sims 4. So I was like, yeah, I like that idea. Let's play around. Let's build a barn and turn it into a house. Uh, so that is what we're doing here today. At the time, I had no idea about country living, which uh, just got announced yesterday, which is really, really exciting. And uh, I thought it was finally time to share this build. I just finished editing this. This was a really long one to edit down into a manageable length for a video because like usual, I'm very indecisive. <laughs> and I did this over a couple of different streams, but the outside shape is pretty simple. It stays pretty much like this. I just add a little bit of a bump out on the upper level and change some of the colors around. But this ends up only being a two bedroom, two bathroom house. It does have like, some workspaces in the loft area of this build because as you can see there is the middle portion of the barn and then two sections off on either side uh so there's only a two-story section in the middle and uh downstairs areas everywhere else so the upstairs space isn't actually that big so i wasn't able to fit that much in it, it ends up being a bathroom a yoga space and an office upstairs and then the bedrooms are downstairs and all the living spaces as well but I am working on the terrain paint and the plants and landscaping and stuff right now. And you might notice that the lot is backwards. And the reason for that is I thought this lot was perfect for this build, but the lighting was horrible. So uh, just for the purposes of building, I did flip it around so it's backwards and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, this is up on the gallery and it is facing the correct way. So if you go to download this, you'll know what's going on. It'll not be backwards anymore. Uh, so apologies if that's a little bit confusing. Uh, but if you would like to grab this off the gallery, it is up there right now under my origin ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy and that information is in the description down below as well. And this home is coming in just shy of 100,000 simoleons. It's 99,687. You probably noticed I put down some fake crops on this lot. Those are from the Show Live Edit Objects catalog. And uh, I'm very curious how farming is going to work in country. I'm, I'm going to keep calling it country living. Cottage living. Because the stuff that's planted in that world looks different than the way gardening currently looks in the game. It looks like sections of the land are like higher up. I don't know if that's just how they built it using terrain tools. Speaking of which, it looks like we're going to be able to make ponds now with terrain tools, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but we're also getting pumpkins and watermelons and eggplants and just a bunch of stuff, <laughs> new recipes. Like, I, I'm probably just going to end up talking about the new pack this entire build, which wasn't my intention because, like I said, I built this a couple of weeks ago now, uh, but I feel like I can't build a farmhouse and post a video about it without talking about cottage living. The world looks amazing. We're getting bunnies in the game. We're getting bunnies in the game. And actually, one of the sim gurus has been answering questions all about the new pack and uh, actually answered, you can't, like, own a bunny they are outdoors, they're wild, but you can befriend them. So then after that, you can purchase a home for them on your lot and they'll come visit more often and you can like build a relationship with them and name them. Uh, but they are not exactly a pet, which I prefer over caging them because I'm not for caging rabbits. My rabbit has like a large enclosure for her safety when we can't keep an eye on her because I do have larger predator animals. I have a cat and a dog, but for the most part, she's out and about doing her thing. And I'm glad that uh, The Sims is not promoting caging bunnies and small enclosures. So I'm excited about it. Anyway, uh, the outside of this is starting to come together here with all the landscaping that I was doing. We're actually going to be adding a gazebo on this lot as well over on the right side. 
just haven't done it yet and uh, right now still adding some more crops and stuff. I did move this lot a little bit further back so I could fit some more plants and planter boxes. This is something I feel like you could probably easily place down in the new world once it comes out and just replace some of the stuff with uh, new items. All the stuff for growing plants and you could probably get rid of the gazebo and maybe over there put like a chicken coop or a place for your llamas or your cows. Oh my gosh, we're getting llamas in The Sims. I am so glad they gave us llamas instead of sheep because llamas have been such a big deal in The Sims forever and we never had llamas and now we have llamas. <laughs> like the closest thing to having llamas in the past is like the mascot from University in The Sims 3 that would just like hop up to your door every time you started a new save file and you're like, can you go away? I don't want to go to university right now. Thanks. But now we're going to have llamas. <laughs> so I'm just unbelievably excited for this pack. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking as well. I'll also link down below my, uh, my trailer reaction. If you haven't seen it yet, I posted that yesterday. I was very excited and, um, I, I basically was just crying over bunnies the entire time. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, give it a look. <laughs> it was a really good time. It was a great way to start the day. Uh, but anyway, inside now I am working on the layout. This is going to be where the kitchen ends up going. I am using the counters from the Country Kitchen Kits. And we are going to be getting a new kitchen with the new pack as well. It's a very similar theme to this. It's like a country kitchen, but it's a different style than these ones. It's much more... I guess maybe traditional, intricate, has more like a carvings and texture to it. And these are a little bit more of a modernized country kitchen. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm excited to get a whole new kitchen, even though it is kind of similar to this one. But uh, I always want smaller kitchens. I know we just got two with Dream Home Decorator, but I'm pumped to get more. <laughs> and I can't believe July 22nd is when it's coming out because that's so far away. Also, since I just mentioned Dream Home Decorator, I built this before that came out, so I'm not using any of that pack in this build. I might have somewhere in here, like if I got this afterwards, but like maybe the sectionals, because I love the sectional couches and I feel like you can make them work in any build, but um, I didn't use them here or the stove tops because I, I feel like this island would have been a perfect spot for one of those stove tops, but I used the... Uh, the one from Snowy Escape instead in the middle there, which I think worked out nicely. And some of this clutter from the Country Kitchen Kit as well. I also kept changing my mind about the colors in this space. Didn't want to bring red in because the outside was red. Didn't want to keep it neutral. I think I ended up going with pops of blue in the end. Also, I made a hallway here so you didn't have to like walk through the whole build to get from the kitchen to the living space. And that way it made it so you could easily access the bedrooms and the bathroom and just walk through that little hallway if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, I end up using this china cabinet from Jungle Adventure. I think it's my favorite one we have in the game because it just feels so versatile compared to some of the other ones that we have. Some of them are a little bit too mid-century or tiny and base game looking. <laughs> so it's my favorite one. I use it in a lot of styles. I think I just used it in a build I posted recently. So if you see a lot of that cabinet, <laughs> that's why it's my favorite one. But just getting some clutter over here. I'm also using the tiny table from Tiny Living. Once again, another one of my favorite items in the game. I love how it's a tall table and you can have the stools at it. I just think it's cute and it works nicely for a small space. I mean, that's a pretty spacious kitchen, but I didn't want the table to take up that much space. So, you know. Uh, but working on the bathroom now for downstairs, this is the first of two different bathrooms in this house. I played around with using the Courtyard Oasis tiles in here. I can't remember if I end up using them anywhere. They might be used in the kitchen. I changed wallpapers a bunch of different times. This was just after Courtyard Oasis came out. So that gives you a good idea of the timing of this build. Uh, but yeah, just getting some more decorations. I'm pretty sure I put the succulents from Discover University in here just for a little bit of a pop of color. They're really pretty. And then a shub as well. A shower tub combo. A shub. I feel like I always have to explain it when I say shub because if you're new here, you would be like, what's a shub? Or, oh my god, did you just call it a shub? 
Uh, but I accidentally called it that a long time ago, and now I just like to call it that, and I still struggle not to say it. I, like, pause before I say it shower tub combo, because I just want to be like, that's the shub. Anyway, uh, the two bedrooms that I had here, I was imagining one of them was for the parent or parents, and the other one was for a teenager, and we're working in the teenager room now. It ends up being, like, purple and black and kind of moody, and I really like this room. This would have been a room I really enjoyed as a teenager, so I, of course, had fun building it. I like the blues and the purples, the posters. We got a mirror over here, and then the parents' room is very much the opposite. It's very light and airy and bright, and I really liked that. I thought having um, the opposite kind of vibe to these rooms was fun and could definitely spur some interesting gameplay between your sims with the, like, angsty teen, so loved that. Uh, but we're moving on into the living room now, which is through that little hallway off on the other side. I mix around the layout in here so many times. Uh, so where I'm placing like the couches and stuff, that's not where they end up staying. But these are couches from Eco Lifestyle and then the coffee tables, those little staggered ones there. Those are from Tiny Living. Love that pack. Such a good pack. I'm never going to stop praising Tiny Living. It's so good. Then again, I mean, I love tiny homes, so of course. Uh, but upstairs here, I realized <laughs> that I made it a, like, lofted upstairs, but I had a door in an area you couldn't access, so that's what I was fixing up there, so you could actually access the front balcony space. But this is where I ended up moving the couch and TV. I think it's a really cozy space, and then I end up having a Don't Wake the Llama table over here so your Sims could go ahead and play a game of that together. And there's a fireplace where I put a couple of chairs as well. And I think a couple of these planters. Those are not the functional ones. They're just the decorative ones from Eagle Lifestyle. But if you wanted to grow some plants on vertical planters in here, you could definitely grab those from that pack and do that instead. Uh, but just popping back into the bedrooms to add a couple more details, like these lamps that I love, these uh, wall sconces. Those are from the bowling pack. I use them so often. Speaking of which, I know in a lot of my builds, I use a ton of different packs, but if you notice that I used something, like it's saying, oh, she's using bowling, there's a good chance I'm using one or two items from it, and if you have that, don't have that pack, it's, there's a good chance a lot of the packs, like, it's not going to be that detrimental to you downloading it. Um, some of them I used a lot of in this build, but I think bowling, I only really used maybe those lights. I might have used one of the wallpapers, but I don't think I did. But that's just an example. I just thought of that because that's one of those items that I just grab and it's the only thing I use from that pack. So anyway, uh, working on, well, we just finished <laughs> the entryway, which isn't really the entryway. I imagine you enter through the kitchen space, uh, but those big like doors downstairs that are from Snowy Escape, but I kind of used them here as barn doors. You can enter through there as well, and I wanted that to just be where the staircase was and also just kind of a landing space. So there's some seating and a bookcase and all that sorts of stuff. But upstairs now, this is like a yoga space at the top of the steps. I think it's really peaceful and modern. This whole build has polished concrete floors instead of wood. I just thought that that would be nice. Also ignore this giant column. I built this over on Twitch, and I was joking about putting that in this build, which I did not do. Uh, so yeah. Just adding some candles, we got some towels, stones, soaps, all kinds of stuff from Spa Day. I heavily use Spa Day upstairs. I'm not sure if I used it anywhere else in the build, but definitely in here. And then I loved using that glass door from Eco Lifestyle to lead on into an office space. I don't know who would work here, who would live here, what kind of work they do, but there is nice office up here. And this is also a space if you would prefer, you could convert into another bedroom. You don't have to have the workspace up here. I just thought it would be kind of interesting and I like how it came out. It's very modern. Maybe you'd have your dream home decorator here. I guess that's a possibility or if you're using this in the new pack, it, I guess you could still have your dream home decorator there. My dream is to redecorate country homes, uh, cottages in Henford on Bagley. I don't know. I think it'd be fun to try and combine those ideas but it could be for whoever you'd like. And then this is the upstairs bathroom, the secondary one in this entire build. 
And with that, we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, especially my ramblings that had nothing to do with the bills. But uh, yeah, please stay tuned for the screenshots. I hope you enjoy them. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this one a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Bye everybody. Thank you.